Already, scientists have uncovered startling discoveries that have left them in a state of disbelief. Imagine a distant, mysterious place that has long captured the curiosity of both scientists and the general people. A world that was formerly regarded as a planet, but was later demoted, sparking significant discussion and controversy. Now that the James Webb Space Telescope has been launched, we can finally get a better look at this mysterious celestial object. What mysteries does the JWST harbour? How on Earth could it possibly affect us? Let's find out. Even though the James Webb Space Telescope was one of the most expensive and challenging to construct space observatories, it has already produced groundbreaking findings and conclusions since its launch. Its major goal is to examine the atmospheres of exoplanets in order to look for evidence of extraterrestrial life. The JWST will also concentrate on celestial objects that are nearer to Earth, such as Mars, asteroids, comets, and Kuiper Belt objects, among others. Yet the possibility of finally investigating Pluto in great detail with this groundbreaking telescope is what thrills scientists the most. The strange reddish-coloured planet, named for the Roman deity of the underworld, may have a number of craters, canyons, plains and chasms named after evil deities and demons from various cultures. Among those mentioned are Erlik, the underworld god of Mongolian mythology, Supe, the Inca lord of the underworld, and Amit, the Egyptian goddess who ate the souls of the sinful. Many fictitious creatures have also been proposed, including Morgoth from J.R.R. Tolkien's The Similarillion and the Balrog from the author's Lord of the Rings. Although none of the names have been formally chosen, they were proposed as part of a plan sent to the International Astronomical Union by SETI Institute researchers as part of a public outreach initiative dubbed Our Pluto. The names have the power to convert Pluto's seemingly foreign scenery into a place where the worst fears and nightmares of mankind have come to life. Mephistopheles, the demonic figure from German folklore who begs for Faust's soul in Marlowe's Dr. Faustus, is one of the names that have been suggested. Even though Pluto no longer qualifies as a planet, scientists continue to be fascinated by it. At the moment, the James Webb Space Telescope is all the rage because of its ability to take pictures of far-off objects. The telescope can definitely be utilised to explore Pluto, as many people have been inquiring. The James Webb Space Telescope is on the case because Pluto is up to something sinister. Uncertain of the cause, scientists have detected that Pluto's atmosphere is vanishing. The atmosphere of the dwarf planet, which is mainly composed of nitrogen, resembles that of Earth. Pluto's atmosphere, however, is supported by the vapour pressure of the ice that covers its surface, unlike Earth. Hence, if the ice on Pluto warms up, it has the potential to drastically alter the atmosphere's density. Scientists have been tracking Pluto's motion away from the Sun for the past 25 years. Pluto's atmosphere is now beginning to refreeze onto its surface as a result of the surface temperature falling over this period. Pluto is extraordinarily far from the Sun, and as time goes on, it will only continue to get farther away and colder. Thus, the temperature dip isn't anticipated to reverse anytime soon. Now the JWST is on the case, and researchers are looking at Pluto through its tenuous atmosphere with telescopes in the US and Mexico in an effort to solve the puzzle of what's going on on this far-off planet. Imagine that you are at the beach on a hot day, High midday and the sun is directly overhead, heating the sand very quickly. The sand becomes hotter as the day goes on, reaching its peak in the late afternoon. Pluto's surface has been accumulating heat from its previous closer to the sun orbit as a result of a process known as thermal inertia. Because of this, Pluto's atmosphere has not completely vanished, but as it becomes colder and the thermal inertia weakens, more and more of it is beginning to freeze back onto its surface and disappear. But how did scientists come to this conclusion? It's by using a technique known as occultation. This has nothing to do with witchcraft or the paranormal. Rather, it is simply what occurs when one cosmic object moves in front of another, blocking out the other. Since the late 1980s, researchers have been studying Pluto using this method. They were able to determine Pluto's atmosphere's density and that its nitrogen ice reservoirs were maintained warm by heat stored under the surface by seeing Pluto as it passed in front of a star. The research indicates that this thermal reservoir is beginning to deplete as Pluto becomes colder and its surface cools. 
Pluto's volcanoes are also icy cold. So it's not just the planet's air that is chilly. A team of planetary scientists discovered features on Pluto that were unique to the solar system after studying images taken by New Horizons. These structures were probably produced by cryovolcanoes, also known as ice volcanoes, which may reach heights of 4.5 miles. Scientists were shocked to discover mountains, valleys, plains, and glaciers in the first images of Pluto taken by the New Horizons spacecraft in 2015, showing that the planet is a geologically active one. Similar to Earth, these landforms were shaped by the planet's dynamic geological processes, which include ice volcano eruptions. According to NASA, the geologically young topography that the team of scientists investigated suggests that Pluto's inner structure may have recently held heat, allowing for the deposition of materials rich in water ice on the surface. The substance that was ejected from the ice volcanoes would have needed to have the consistency of toothpaste in order for the structures to be constructed by the seeping, toothpaste-like fluid. A geological wonderland exists on Pluto. There are many completely distinct regions on Pluto. You wouldn't know what the other regions look like if you only had a few parts of a puzzle of Pluto. Have you ever called someone cold-hearted? Guess what? Pluto, although being extremely cold, has a heart. The New Horizon probe formed this heart-shaped region during a flyby of Pluto. It is even larger than the human heart and has a surface area of a million miles. It is composed of nitrogen glaciers. Pluto's actions are likewise determined by its heart, as the left ventricle, known as Sputnik Planitia, drove the planet to turn such that Charon, its moon, was facing the opposite direction. This phenomenon, where a planetary body shifts its spin axis as a result of a significant geologic process, is known as a real polar wonder. The ventricle's current location, a cold trap gathering nitrogen ice to form a 2.5 mile thick ice sheet, is what is causing Pluto's surface to split and the enormous cracks in its crust. The basin is believed to have developed closer to Pluto's North Pole and to the northwest of where it is now. Pluto is still not free since it will keep reorienting itself if ice builds up on the basin. Who knew a cold heart could be so fascinating? Data from New Horizons is giving scientists information on Pluto's more recent characteristics in addition to aiding in the study of its older landscapes. Around Pluto's equator, the spacecraft had previously discovered enormous methane deposits, some of which were as tall as skyscrapers on Earth. The finding of these features underscores the complexity, dynamic nature, and diversity of planetary surfaces like Pluto's and deepens our understanding of the processes that shape Pluto and other ice planets in our solar system. Pluto is a dwarf planet, but how did it get its name? The solution might surprise you. Now scientists think it might have had a fiery beginning. Astronomers had long believed that radioactive decay had a role in the planet's primordial subterranean sea's slow formation over millions of years. Recent discoveries, however, have called that notion into question. Scientists combed over photographs of Pluto taken by the New Horizon probe to look for hints regarding the planet's formation. They discovered that the presence of mountains and valleys on Pluto's surface could shed light on the planet's formation. The scientists examined these peculiar surface traits and then used computer simulations to explore several planet formation scenarios. Scientists found that Pluto would have contracted and left visible evidence of compression fractures if it had started off cold and then internally melted. The fact that the team only saw extensional characteristics, however, led them to hypothesize that Pluto may have had a brief, violent beginning that gave way to an early ocean. However, did Pluto produce the heat needed for such an ignition? The researchers evaluated two scenarios. Either the proto-dwarf planet was warmed by energy from nuclear decay, or it was hit by surrounding debris and melted. The latter possibility they found was more probable. These results imply that Pluto's creation must have happened quickly. But in the big scope of things, that quick process might have taken up to 30,000 years, which would have been a minor blip on the universe's lifespan. Scientists are once more interested in Pluto, the tiny planet that has long been cloaked in mystery. They've made several surprising discoveries, one of which is that Pluto has flowing glaciers just like Earth and Mars. Several nitrogen ice glaciers flow into the basin from mountains with pits, carving down valleys as they approach Sputnik Planitia from the east. These glaciers are the consequence of nitrogen ice sublimating from ice to vapor, moving across Pluto and then refreezing on the surface throughout seasonal and mega-seasonal cycles. 
yet they differ from the glaciers made of water ice that exist on Earth. Since liquid nitrogen is less dense than solid nitrogen, any melt that occurs inside them will rise rather than fall. Moreover, the liquid nitrogen may release geysers or jets of water as it reaches the top. It's also important to note that water ice, which has a somewhat lower density than nitrogen ice, makes up a portion of Pluto's surface. Some of those water ice rocks will rise up through the glacier as Pluto's glaciers cut through its surface, floating there like icebergs. Is it conceivable for any kind of life to exist on Pluto? Unfortunately, Pluto's harsh surface conditions make it impossible for life of any kind to exist there is simply no chance for life to live under these conditions, when the temperatures are so low that not only water, but also gases and liquids like methane, nitrogen gas, and carbon monoxide freeze solid. The likelihood of life existing on Pluto's surface is further diminished by the fact that its air pressure is significantly lower than that of Earth. Yet researchers think there's a probability that Pluto's interior harbors life. According to scientific predictions, Pluto's environment could alter in the future to support the development of life. Yet this might be disastrous for Earth. The outer solar system will someday become a part of the Sun's habitable zone, even if Pluto is currently outside of it since the Sun will continue to grow and release more energy for millions of years. The Sun will grow during the course of a half-billion-year expansion, consuming the inner planets including Earth. The Cuba Belt objects, including Pluto, will experience considerable warming during this period. But it's doubtful that life will develop on Pluto without assistance, given their composition and the constrained time window. It's possible that humans will need to ship plants and other living things from Earth to Pluto and other surviving bodies. Yet these cosmic occurrences are still billions of years away, so don't worry. The James Webb Space Telescope's investigation of Pluto is expected to shed further light on this far-off dwarf planet's peculiar characteristics. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.